here's a bit about SpectroComp for you. Now, SpectroComp isn't the average compressor that you meet on the market. Most compressors out there actually use full band compression, which in essence means that they compress the entire frequency range in the exact same way. Now, what that means for bass players is that the strings with the more energy, which would be the E or the B string, uh, are actually controlling the level of compression and when the compressor kicks in. Uh, that ends up meaning a bit of a compromise for us. Uh, so you could set the compressor so you get really nice compression on your E string, but then you won't get a lot of compression on your G string. Or you could go the other way around and get some really nice compression on your G string, but then you destroy the dynamics of your E string or even worse of your B string. So with SpectroComp, we've taken a slightly different approach to this. What we've done is that we've split up the sound in three different areas. So we're compressing the lows and the mids and the highs completely independently. Now what that means is that it evens out the compression and it actually allows you to get that tight and snappy kind of sound that you want from a compressor without destroying your dynamics. The way it works is really simple. Um, you obviously set the gain and, and tone controls of your bass sound uh, and then once you want to add the spectral comp, you hit the shift button and then you turn the spectral comp knob right here. So by dialing in the compression here, I can set how much compression I want. Now what's really nice about the way that this is indicated on the front panel of Rebelhead is that the light ring of the gain knob or the spectral comp uh, in this case, it actually indicates how much compression I've added to my bass. So watch the light ring when I'm playing. See that backs off and tells me how much compression I actually have on my bass now. Really nice. Another really cool thing about the Spectral Comp is that you know how many compressors actually take away from your sound when you add, add the compression uh, because of the gain reduction happening in the compressor. Now we've taken that into account with Spectral Comp. So what we do is basically that we compensate the gain on the other side of the Spectral Comp, which kind of adds to the overall feel of your sound getting more tight and getting you know, more sound out of your bass and more sustain out of your bass. So that is the quick overview on Spectral Comp. Now if you want to check out some of the uh, audio examples that we have, please go and check out some of the other videos.